yet you spend two day the, the whole day together uh, talking about your own uh, experience and your own journey. And uh, I just like to you know finish and, and sum up the, the day together with you. And uh, could you tell me why you want to your children to have their own their own uh, living their own houses? Why it was important for you? I wouldn't say it was important for me, I would say it was very important for them also. When Marcus was born, we kind of went immediately to thinking whether he should move out from our home and when. And we decided immediately, that of course. And it was very clear that when he will turn 16 or 17 or 18, whatever, that was kind of the idea then we decided that he has to have a possibility to move to his own home, to have his own independence and, and to also have his own life. And, uh, and uh, when then five years later Robin was born, this plan kind of, of course was post postponed with five years and because we immediately also thought that as they are brothers, they have to have the possibility to have a family together and, and this has now happened that we are very lucky for them. Great. Um, <clears throat> um, you, you, you explained today uh, your, your journey and how you built uh, housing and, and how you are fighting with the services for, for your son. But would you say to, to hear to our Czech parents, what are the Maybe the three most important things you have learned, or you you need to to do such a um, to, to organize such a thing because it's not it's not easy. And yourself today um, uh, said a lot about the difficulties on that. But what would you say are the three most important things to be able to realize your dream, basically? First, I would say that you have to have the dream and believe in your dream. And uh, you don't, you, you cannot give up on the way towards the dream to come true. And uh, then, of course, if we think of our children moving, so important is that uh, they have a choice also in this process to 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 choose with whom they live. We know that people with intellectual disability, they often live in houses where there are other people with intellectual disabilities. And of course it's better that they can choose with whom they live so that they live with people who are, who, who they know from before. And of course the third one I would say in, in our case might be then that the house and the, the, the surrounding of the house is accessible as, as Marcus and Robin are moving with their wheelchairs so that there, there are possibilities for them to go out in from the house without any difficulties. So maybe that would be the three. And um, um, you have invested a lot of energy into the into this process, your whole life, basically. Where did you find the, 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 the strength to do this? What what support did, did you have to to never you know uh, to always keep your your dream becoming a reality? <coughs> First, of course, I get my strength from my wife, my my family. Of course, I'm, I'm forever thankful, thankful for the support from my family because whatever I choose to do, my wife always tells me that, that please do that. It's your choice. She never stops me from anything. And of course, she knows that, that uh, this kind of desire to do things comes from inside. It's kind of burning inside and if I'm not <coughs> able to do it, it, the burning doesn't go down. So I, I have to do it, but of 
course, uh, the peer support from other parents is equally important. Um, I have, during all these years, got so much strength from other parents that I, I, uh, the peer support never ceases to amaze me. It's so easy to talk with other parents, and it's so it's so giving also. It's it's when you give something out of yourself, you also get a lot more, and that is so rewarding. So I would say so. Is there anybody from outside of the disability movement who, who, who had an, an authority, a politician you met, or was it really just the strength of, of, of the families around you? Did you meet any angel on the, let's say, someone who, who, who helped outside of, of the, uh, the disability movement? I, of course, I met a lot of people, and, and uh, of course, that too, that you are encouraged by people outside the disability movement is very rewarding. And I, I have met many politicians and I know many politicians and they also, of course, encourage me to go on. And uh, I would say that my, my reputation goes before me <laughs> so that I, I think that I have much bigger reputation than than I actually am. So, so I'm very thankful, of course, for all the support I can get, but the most important